We all set to go. Okay, call the meeting to order. Welcome everyone here this evening. If anyone in the audience wants to speak to any particular item on our agenda, please raise your hand. I will try and, and recognize you, or if I don't, one of the other committee members will, and you will ha have your turn. Also, too, I welcome Emma here amongst our midst. She was here, she tells me, back in 2018. And she's back again to help out with the severances. Are you familiar with everyone at the table, Emma? Yes. You are? Okay, good for you. Okay, before we ask for the approval of the agenda, I would like one more item added to the agenda. At the end, I would like a closed session. If that's okay with, with the committee members. So we will add, add that on the agenda at the end that we have a, a closed session. Can I ask what the closed session is? Pardon me? Can I ask what the closed session is pertaining to? Pertaining to past severances. Past severances. Is there a specific one? Pardon me? Is there a specific property? There's three of them. So I'll ask for the approval of the agenda. Moved by Bob, seconded by Marilyn. All those in favor? Carried. <clears throat> and a declaration of conflict of interest or general nature thereof. Is there any? Let the record show there is none. Adoption of the, of the minutes of February the 7th, 2024. Can I have a mover and a seconder? Move by Bob, seconded by Deer. Any discussion, errors, or omissions? So the rising of those minutes? Yes, Merrill. Bob, you need a motion to Resolution COA 13 14 24. Can you speak a little louder, please, Merle? Sorry, it was uh, on resolution COA 13 2024. Can't hear you. Sorry, it was on uh, resolution COA. 13-2024. Maybe it doesn't need a secondary, but I think it does. You see it? Way down. You got it, Brandy? Appears to be on page 24. Was that Aaron? It appears to be on page 24, if that's just helpful in finding it. <clears throat> we can go back to our notes and add in the seconder and okay and adopt them as amended. Got it, Randy. Okay, noted. Anything else? All those in favor? Okay. <clears throat> 
Severance Application B37-2023. County Road 15. Stirring. Robert, you want to join us at the table, please? You want to give us the preamble, Emma, please? Hi, committee and members of the public. Um, again, my name is Emma Stuckey. I'm a consultant planner with Arcadis um, in Kingston, uh, providing uh, consulting planning services to the township of Stone Mills. So I'll give an overview of application uh, B37 2023. Is it appropriate for me to speak to B38 at the same time, or would you like me to address them separately? Okay. Uh, B37 2023. Uh, this is a revised application. It was originally brought to the committee on February 7th, 2024, and was deferred um, in order to provide additional information related to the um, location of uh, a cemetery on, um, on the property. Um, so application B37 proposes uh, to sever an approximately 4.3 hectare parcel with 285 meters of frontage on County Road 15. It's developed with a single detached dwelling and accessory structure. And as shown on the screen there, there is a proposed easement um, in favor of the township around the lands noted as cemetery for the township to provide uh, maintenance and access. Um, the property is designated uh, rural in the official plan. Uh, and is in the uh, rural zone. The proposed severances comply with the zoning bylaw and it's my professional opinion, it meets the intent of the official plan, uh, provincial policy statement and intent of the zoning bylaw. Thank you. Hey, <clears throat> committee members have any concerns or questions regarding the severance? Yes, Dieter. Yeah, I wanted to just uh, talk about the cemetery uh, for a minute. I know we're putting a uh, registered easement to, uh, right away to the cemetery. I'm curious of what's going to happen to the cemetery itself. Um, someone said it's the township owns it, but if the township owns it, then it should be designated as a separate part on the final reference plan. Uh, I'm wondering, you know, what, what the final plan for that is, where they're going to designate the actual boundaries of the cemetery. It is, I, know I had a, uh, a Greg uh, took me on a, a guided tour of the cemetery the other day, and it's quite a, it's quite amazing. He tells me there's 300 grave sites there, which is quite substantial. <laughs> there's a lot of stones there, a lot of stones you kick around. Okay. So it's, it's, it's Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, anyway, there is there, some of those stones there go back to the early 1800s. There, it's been there for a long time. Um, so it's part of the it's part of the title to the property. I realize that. I'm just wondering whether whether it wouldn't make sense to designate as a separate entity on the plan uh, um, for through, purposes of location, Emma. Through you, Mr. Chair, I can respond to that. The um, uh, Director of Public Works um, reviewed the application and it was their preference that access was granted just via easement. Um, so that was- So a, they didn't ask for anything further than that? Okay. No, I think it was their preference that it may, stayed in the current ownership just within access for easement. I can just speak to, to that, Mr. Chair, if you're okay with that. Yep. Um, so the township is uh, the operator of the cemetery. They're licensed to operate the cemetery, so they don't own the lands. Um, they're just the caretaker of the cemetery through the, um, yeah. Okay. That, that's well, been my understanding. The municipality was just the, the caretaker of the of the cemetery, not, not the ownership of it, because the, back... A number of years ago, there was a cemetery that was more or less abandoned. When I was on council, the municipality took over and resurrected it and fixed it up. But there's yeah. still no no ownership other than ownership for for maintenance. Yes, yeah, you know, I don't know where my 
personally, it would be nice to designate the boundaries of that cemetery on the plan, but I don't know whether we can uh, we can actually make that condition as part of the uh, our final decision or not. Uh, it's just my that's my opinion, but it uh, you know I, I will leave it at that. And, and I, I don't think we maybe we maybe need to make it any more complicated than what it is. Only my only my thoughts. Okay, I'm not going to press the issue. <laughs> <laughs> As a surveyor, I just like like the things designated. Well, here it is. You know, uh, I know, not, I know. Not, not a fuzzy little line on the plan kind <laughs> of thing. So, anybody else have any concerns or questions regarding the severance? Okay, I need a motion. I looked out. I, I looked out, and nobody raised their hand. Okay. I asked. I asked. Moved by Bob, seconded by Dieter, that we approve. Yes. Any further discussion? Any comments from the audience? Questions? All those in favor? Carried. Just one. B38-2023, <clears throat> Emma, again, please. All right, so I propose severance application B38-2023 proposes to sever an approximately 3.5 hectare parcel uh, from the subject lands with 100 and meter, 150 meters of frontage on County Road 15. It again is developed with a single detached dwelling and an accessory structure. There is a proposed easement in favor of the township for cemetery access as shown on the uh, proposed plan. Um, the proposed lot is designated residential and is within the rural, or sorry, designated rural and is within the rural zone. Um, it's my professional planning opinion that the proposed severance meets the intent of the provincial policy statement, the county and township official plans, as well as the township zoning bylaw uh, subject to the uh, conditions noted. Thank you. Thanks, Emma. Also, there's uh, a public comment, a letter on, on both of these. I'm sure you're aware of. Anyone have any questions or concerns about the severance? Pretty much the same as the other one. Yes, Bob? No one have any concerns or questions? You're, you're aware of the letter. Was this a letter different than than uh, that we looked at before? No. No. It's a different letter. It's the same. No. That's the same letter. Same. Yeah, yeah, the same concerns that had that dealt mainly with the retained parcel with where, where we have the sewage lagoons. I think we dealt that in the depth at, at the original meeting, I guess. So, no, I have no concerns with this one. Need a motion? Motion by Bob, seconded by Marilyn. Thank you. To approve. All those in favor? Gary. Robert, have yourself a good evening. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Severance B30 2023, County Road. 27, Shepherd. Emily, you're on again. Okay, um, severance uh, B30 2023 uh, proposes to sever a, an approximately 5.9 hectare parcel um, from the southwest corner of the subject lands. It has approximately 360 meters of frontage on Craigan Road and approximately 441 meters on County Road 27. Um, the subject property is developed with an existing um, barn and um, dwelling. The subject property is designated rural in the township official plan. We did conduct a review of minimum distance separation um, guidelines to confirm that there is a suitable building envelope. So per MDS, the setback from the barn doesn't apply when it's on the same property as the dwelling to be severed. Um, and there is a buildable area. 
outside on the other uh, proposed lots. Um, so based on this in our review, um, the proposal um, exceeds the minimum lot area and frontage requirements of the zoning bylaw. Um, it's large enough for that and it's already developed so did not require a well condition. Um, so based on this, it's my professional planning opinion that the proposed severance meets the uh, intent of the provincial policy statement, the county and township official plans, as well as the township zoning bylaw. Okay, the, the county is asking for a site property on the corner of, of, of Nugent Road mm -hmm. and also to the municipalities asking for road, road widening. Yes, yeah, that's And correct. the county's asking for road widening, but I don't think that's necessary. I think that's that was done a number of years ago, I think. Anyone have any questions or concerns about the severance? Yes, Merrill. Uh, there was a letter um, concerning this piece of property about, sorry, there was a letter concerning this piece of property uh, about making the, the actual division straighter. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking uh, the limit was set at the tray line Mm -hmm. And so I'm thinking that would be the reason why they made. Yes, yeah, through you, Mr. Chair, my understanding is that the proposed lot line was drawn to follow on um, the tree line and the extent of like the field boundaries um, in order to make things simpler um, on the ground with respect to um, property boundaries. Um, I don't disagree that it's always nice to have straight lines. Um, but this was the preference of the applicant and had been previously reviewed by uh, Mr. Sands um, prior to us taking over review. So did not raise a large objection to it. Um, yeah, in, in, in this regard, I had a good look at all that. And in fact, the boundaries do uh, divide the uh, farm farm area, the farm field from, from the actual uh, rest of the property and it certainly made sense to me I know I like straight lines too or reasonably mm -hmm. straight lines but that was a, that's a perfectly logical reasonable way to draw those prop that property line along the edge of the work field and to me it makes more sense to me uh, <clears throat> there was there was one misinterpretation Emma oh, yeah. on your report uh, in your site description, you said that uh, the parcel A or the parcel with the buildings on it have access from Nugent Road, but they're actually ac access is actually from uh, the county road. Oh yes, that yep, was, my mistake. <laughs> okay, just thank you. And also, too, on this larger acreage, we don't re request a, a well either. Yes, Merrill. One more little question. Um, I'm just noting that <clears throat> I think on there, there that it's saying that uh, they should request an entry uh, from County Road 27, which would be from the county. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm seeing on here uh, two existing entrances, entrance A and C, never mind the hydro one. So I'm thinking in terms of have they always been there? So is one of them already um, useful legally? Yes, um, through you, Mr. Chair, the intention of that condition is that those existing entrances would be assessed by the county since it's a technically a new lot. Um, so the county would be able to review the existing condition and confirm if any um, upgrades are needed to the existing entrances or if they're sufficient as is. Um, so it's a fairly uh, standard condition put in place just to ensure that there can be suitable access. Good, thank you. Well, that, that is a county issue. Yes, yes. Yeah. One more comment, uh, Chairman Bob. Uh, I have to make a comment about the quality of this particular severance application that was done by uh, my colleague, Paul Miller. It far exceeds anything that uh, I see uh, uh, other people doing in this area. And uh, 
I actually called him and, and, I, and I, I commented on it and, and told him he's done by far the best job I've seen for a Severn sketch. Uh, you almost don't even have to go out and look at it because everything's there. I wish the other uh, outfits in, in, in the area would do something half as good as this. You know, it was a really uh, pleasant uh, surprise to see something like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need a, a motion. Motion but moved by Aaron to approve. A second, a second by Marilyn. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Carry. B31-2023, same one again, Emma. All right, um, consent application B31-2023 proposes to sever an approximately 15.9 hectare parcel um, from the subject lands with approximately 292 meters on County Road 27 and approximately 164 meters on Nugent Road. Um, it's the severed parcel um, shown in red on the sketch above. Um, the primary use of this parcel is for farm fields and agricultural uses. Um, as mentioned before, we did submit um, an MDS review and did confirm that there is a suitable building envelope if the lands were to be developed in the future, and that would be located on the County Road 27 frontage. Um, so just point that out to committee. Um, the parcel is designated rural and is zoned rural. Um, from our review, it's consistent with the 2020 provincial policy statement, meets the intent of the county and township official plans, and is consistent with the township zoning bylaw. There is sufficient lot area outside of any MDS setback and on the proposed severed lot to be able to meet all requirements of the township zoning bylaw. Um, so based on this, it's my professional opinion that the proposed uh, severance um, is appropriate. Thank you. Any discussion, concerns from the committee? Anyone in the audience? Okay, we need a motion. Moved by Bob, seconded by Dieter. We approve. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Gary. Okay, we're on to B33. Emmons. Okay, consent application B33 2023 proposes to sever an approximately 0 0.01 hectare um, parcel from um, Prince Street, 11 Prince Street, and add it to the adjacent property um, at 157.3 Lake Road. The purpose of this application is to transfer the existing detached accessory structure from 11 Prince Street to 1573 Lake Street. Um, so essentially, Currently, you can see on the sketch, the 11 Prince Street currently has an L shape that accommodates a detached accessory structure on the Prince Street frontage. And through this application, they're proposing to redraw the lot line so that the uh, accessory garage is um, now part of, <coughs> excuse me, 1573 Lake Road. Um, the uh, parcel to receive the lot addition has an area of approximately 0 0.8 hectares and the retained parcel has an area, will have an area of 1.33 hectares. So both of these lots are currently, they're existing undersized. <coughs> Excuse me, um, are existing undersized lots. However, um, the redrawing of the lot boundary will have no negative impacts. It's proposed to facilitate the improvement of, of this garage excuse me, um, by the owners of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, please bear with me, <laughs> a 1573 Lake Street. Um, so based on this, the official plan permits consents for uh, boundary adjustments. Um, in order to facilitate this, um, a minor variance application will be needed um, for the uh, a retained parcel in order to um, permit a produce, proposed reduced lot area and a uh, future minor variance application will be required from the benefiting lands 1573 
in order to uh, reduce the minimum um, side yard setbacks for the detached accessory structure. Um, generally, as this uh, lot is to recognize its existing conditions and there's no um, net new impact, it's all an existing structure. Uh, it's my professional planning opinion that the proposed development is consistent with the provincial policy statement, meets the intent of the county and township official plan, and um, minor variances are needed, but generally meets the intent of the uh, zoning bylaw. Thank you. Thanks, Anyone have any concerns or questions from the committee? No? Yes, Peter? No, I just <clears throat> had a discussion with, with Mrs. Emmons about all this. Seems to make like a logical sense. She doesn't need the old building anymore and to straighten out the property lines and uh, seemed like a reasonable, a good thing to do. So. Yeah. There, there is history there, but it, yeah, it needs to be changed around. Yeah, apparently, I guess at one time it was, I th she told me what it was used for long ago. It was a, somebody was using it as a, you know, a workshop and this type of thing, but. I, I can go back to when I was five years old. My, my dad bought a pony out of that barn for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's how far back I can go on to it. <laughs> Anyhow, anyone have any questions? Concerns? No? Need a motion. Aaron, Bob, to approve. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Carried. B34-2023, Park Road, Rennick. Emma? Application uh, B33-2024 at 244 Park Road uh, proposes to sever a 3.3 hectare parcel with 127 meters of par along Park Road. Um, the proposed severed lot is currently vacant. The retained parcel will have an area of 4.3, or sorry, 43.4 hectares with 831 meters on Park Road. The retained lands are developed with a single detached dwelling and livestock facility. Um, so the um, subject lands, they're designated rural and zoned rural. And the proposed development, we did complete an MDS assessment for the uh, livestock facility on the retained lands as well as in the surrounding area. And the proposed severed lot is outside of all required MDS setbacks. Um, the proposal um, yes, yeah, so I said designated rural and generally meets the intent of the um, township zoning bylaw as the property exceeds the minimum lot area and frontage requirements for uh, rural or residential uses in the rural zone. And there is a natural heritage feature on the property on the retained parcel um, that is proposed uh, proposed on the retained parcel. Um, any development within 120 meters of that will be subject to permit from Quinty Conservation. Um, so just highlight that. Um, overall, the proposed consent is consistent with the intent of the provincial policy statement, conforms to the policies of the County of Lennox and Addington official plan and Township of Stone Mills plan and the provisions of the Township's uh, zoning bylaw, uh, provided the noted conditions are satisfied. So again, it's my opinion that this proposed severance uh, is desirable and appropriate and yeah, meets the intent of all required policies. Thank you, Emma. Anyone have any questions, concerns? Yes, Dieter. Just, just comment. Uh, it, it's nice to see uh, uh, a nice size country lot out there, 3.3 hectares, rather than this 60 meters by 166 meter one hectare lots. So, I thank, I thank, thank you for. For, for doing that, it's a, it's a nice, uh, well bounded. It's it's an exact uh, an existing field. Seems to have fences all around it. Two hundred year old snake rail fence on the one side. It's unbelievable. So uh, should be a nice building lot for someone. And I really, uh, <laughs> it uh, it's nice to see a, a good sized uh, rural lot. Anyone have any other concerns or questions? Need a motion. 
Marilyn and Dieter to approve. All those in favor? Carried. Good luck. <laughs> B-47-2023, Knights Concession, Gray. Application B-47-2023 proposes to sever a 1.3 hectare parcel with 65 meters of frontage on Knights Concession Road um, from the southwest corner of the property. Um, the property is located about 6.4 kilometers northeast of Enterprise and is close to the border of the township of South Frontenac. There's an existing single detached dwelling and accessory structure on the southern portion of the uh, subject lands, which will be on the retained lot. The retained parcel has an area of 12 hectares and will retain approximately 140 meters of frontage on Ninth Concession Road. Um, I'll note that one of the accessory structures noted is a garage or a workshop and future, uh, future garden. That was formerly a dog kennel. Um, so as a condition, the zoning bylaw requires a minimum separation between uh, kennels and any residential development, which um, would not be met with this proposed severance. However, it's understood that the kennel no longer exists and there are no plans um, to uh, like reinstate the kennel. So we've included a condition that um, the owner acknowledges that the uh, kennel is not to be reinstated. Um, we completed an MDS review and can confirm that there's a building envelope on the severed parcel outside of all required MDS setbacks. Um, and the proposal, it's in the rural designation. The proposed residential use is permitted in the rural designation. Um, there are, uh, there is a, um, Sorry, a water course that runs through the front portion of the property. The owners have gotten, or Quinty Conservation has indicated that they would issue a permit for culvert for um, driveway to get access. Um, and there appears to be a suitable building envelope outside of all required setbacks from the natural heritage features, including that creek on uh, the property. Um, so based on this, it's my professional opinion that the proposed severance meets the intent of the provincial policy statement, the county and township official plans, as well as the township zoning bylaw. Thank you. Well, I was back yesterday and I couldn't find any placards. We, you, did you find them? I thought there was one up. Yeah. Okay. And look, I, I was there. When, when were you back, Bob? I thought it was on a hydro pole, wasn't it? On the 19th. Okay, I was back yesterday and nothing there. Hmm. Anyhow, I, I, I figured it was where there, there's been a new well drilled. Yeah, there and, there, and there were two pylons out along along the road. Was there? Mm -hmm. I figured that was a. I, after going back and forth three times, why I figured that's where it was. <laughs> I was looking for that Mary, Mary Road or whatever Mary, it was. Mary Moore Road. Mary Moore Road. No, and, and so I kept on going looking for the ninth concession. <laughs> I didn't oh, see yeah, the other you, sign. You were, you were on the Mary Moore Road when you, when you turned off of Church Street. Then you're on the ninth. Then you're on the ninth, okay. yeah. So what, you had to go up Mary Moore to get to the ninth. Yeah. Mary Moore what goes on yeah. to the right. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I, I had no problem. I, I did find it. I talked to the owner and he showed me everything. And he showed me where the fence lines were and where everything was. Because I was confused because, again, here... Talking about survey sketches, we even got a surveyor didn't do it right. And that bugs me. Shows he shows that uh, garden potential garden. That's where that that pond is. That uh, garden area is way over, it's way out of whack. So I'm kind of disappointed in that too as well. But uh, you know, the uh, the owner he had already lines cut out, trimmed out where everything was supposed to be, and so minimum size were a lot. But hey, you know, nice nice place out in the country. 
Anyone have any other concerns or questions? No? Need a mover and a seconder to, to approve. I move to approve. Move by Deer. Seconded by Merrill. Thank you. All those in favor? Carried. B58-2023, B Brady Road, Simpson. This application B58-2023 um, is a lot addition application. It proposes to sever an approximately one hectare parcel um, from the rear of a quite a large rural through lot and add it to the adjacent parcel at 246 uh, Brady Road. Oh, my apologies, the retained is 246 Brady Road. Um, and it's uh, the proposal seeks to add the one hectare parcel to um, uh, the adjacent property that's developed with a single detached dwelling um, and accessory structure. Um, the official plan permits um, consent applications for the purposes of boundary adjustments. Um, Um, so based on this, there were no uh, planning concerns uh, with the application. We will note that any future development on um, the benefiting parcel will be required to comply with all provisions of the zoning bylaw, including side yard setbacks, rear yard setbacks, um, et cetera, to help ensure that any um, new development will be adequately set back from um, surrounding uses. Um, the um, benefiting or the benefiting and retained parcel will both continue to exceed the minimum lot area requirements in the zoning bylaw for rural uses. Um, so based on this, it was my professional opinion that the proposed um, severance uh, meets the intent of the provincial policy statement, the county and township official plan, as well as the townships uh, zoning bylaw, um, especially given there's adequate lot area on both the retained and um, the benefiting lot or the resulting parcel um, to be able to continue to meet all provisions of the bylaw. Thank you. Also, too, there is a public comment. I'm sure everybody is aware of the letter. Any discussion, concerns? Yes, Marilyn? Um, well, and concerning the letter, um, I couldn't see that there was um, any road frontage on that particular parcel that's the lot addition that could actually warrant someone deciding to pull a building permit. So I think that part of it, if I'm not mistaken, is probably n not a concern at this point in time. Uh, I'll disagree a little bit, Marilyn. Uh, I had a, a discussion with Susanna, right? There, and let me just give you a situation that we were, we were already dealing with, which of course I am absolutely not in favor of, but I'll keep my uh, 100 meters or 90 meters and I'll sever a little bit like this so that I can put a driveway in this and sell it as a house. That's what we're dealing with on part of the grow. I would be given that we have opposed to that, but you know, build, some builder can say, well, hey, I, you know, I can put a driveway and we'll build a house there. I mean, hopefully it'll never happen, but the possibility does, does exist. and. Uh, I, I'm, I really, I really, really, really vehemently do not like that kind of stuff. However, you know, as I say, we're dealing with it on another property down here on Friday Lake Road. Same thing, you know. Just hope it never happens and, uh, you know, the three, possibility, three you know, someone could do it. I mean, who would? Why would, why would you want to do that? But. You know, it's it's yeah, been done. Oh, three, Mr. Chair, was just going to confirm that any future severance, as committee is well aware, any future severance would come back to committee, um, and would be assessed. The merits of that would be assessed through the same same process. 
Um, so just like to highlight that and then just confirm that with respect to this application, it is like a lot line adjustment, um, which is permitted by um, the official plan as it's effectively a, a boundary adjustment. Yeah, I have no objections to the lot addition. I mean, I think it's a good idea and it, it enhances the property, you know. So from that aspect, I have no concerns about that. But as I say, your concern is valid and I'm not saying it'll never happen, but likely not. But, you know, it's been done before. So, you know, keep your eye on it. I guess from what your conversation, Dieter, we, we would be what if if it happens. But we're not we're not dealing with that. No, we're not dealing with it. No, but I'm, what I'm saying is that There's it's a it's a it's a, it's a, uh, I hear a very you. remote possibility. You know, is, is what I'm saying. You know? I hear you, but we, we are what if, and, and we're not dealing with that. No, we're not dealing with that. But as I say, I have no concerns about the lot addition. Yes, Marilyn. Yes, and so when I was uh, commenting on that, I guess probably Dieter has said a lot of the time are, there's not enough detail there. Um, and so who knows what goes up the side of that lot. And that's why I queried that because I was thinking in terms of the lot frontage and, but you're perfectly correct. Some people will ask for it and that it's not likely to happen, but there is that possibility <clears throat> that someone would ask. However, I was thinking in terms of, is there a road allowance there or something that someone could at some point in time, because that lot addition actually is large enough as um, a building lot, decide that they want to pay hard to open a road allowance, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's a what if again. So I can understand these folks and their concerns. That's not what we're addressing here. However, um, because there is not enough information showing that side, um, I would suggest there wasn't there wasn't any road frontage to get to that lot. But Dieter is pointing out that yeah, there, there, there is. If you look at, uh, I I have to believe the Severn sketch and the, the line. Uh, the, uh, the east limit of, the, of those properties, there's a lot line. There's no road allowance there. Okay. Yes, sir. I have a question, um, I believe directed to you, Emma. Um, so sometimes we see applications where there's a concern in the public with regard to water quality or quantity. And typically with a severance application, um, we can impose a condition of a hydro G study to safeguard the water resources in the area for um, members of the, uh, well, adjacent landholders. So in this instance, the severance before us is actually a lot addition. So, um, you know, the matter today is regarding whether or not it meets policy. That aside, if the committee moves forward and approves the application tonight as recommended by staff, in the future, we could have a minor variance before us. But at that time, the committee, my understanding is the committee wouldn't be in a position to impose a condition of conducting a hydro G study. We would just be granting approval um, for the minor variance under the zoning bylaw. Can you speak to that, Emma, in terms of, you know, our options as a committee to safeguard the water resource as it relates to the timing of the application today and the future potential application we could see? Sorry for the length there. Sure. So just looking to confirm the request is to speak to if, if this lot addition is approved, then if in the future the owners of the like resulting parcel come back for a severance, if is that the question well, or my understanding variance? is it would be a minor variance that they'd um, be seeking because it's a lot addition, they own the lands. Yes, so at that um, point, we, would the committee have the ability to require a hydro G study? Um, if so, if this lot addition is granted, then that would be one parcel, any future division of the newly created parcel would be subject to a new application for consent 
Um, and looking at the frontage, there would then also, if if a future consent application came forward, a minor variance would also be required for the reduced frontage. Um, so yes, through the through the hypothetical possible future consent, the committee could could put conditions um, with respect to hydrogen. I hope that is that correct is that <laughs> it does. Thank okay, you. thanks. So there, there is a possibility. Uh, there, well, the, yeah, the committee. Is. If if the if this lot addition is approved, and then this is now a lot, and in the future, if the owners of this lot come forward and are proposing to divide it further, that would be a new condition or a new application for consent to sever, um, and then. So yeah, the committee could apply conditions as uh, staff, like a township staff, planning staff would be reviewing the application um, under all the tests of the official plan, um, as well as the zoning bylaw. If there was a deficiency in terms of frontage lot area, then a minor variance would be required. Um, so there would be mechanisms for any future, any possible future development, the same mechanisms for um, like severances, any condition could be added as per um, the purview of the committee. That satisfy you? It does, thank you. Okay. Yes, Marilyn. Coming back to the water issue, <clears throat> first of all, um, I don't know whether the hydri study was done on that original lot um, that has the house on it. Mm -hmm. uh, if it was done at that time, <clears throat> these these folks in their letter have stated that uh, they had a loss of water, et cetera, at that time. Um, so I don't know whether that was the case at the time. And in the future, as Dieter has stated, uh, and you have stated that it's there, there's always a possibility mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> that someone could come forward and want to reduce their road frontage so that they could have access to that lot, lots already severed blah, 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 and you'd be looking at a minor variance, then at that time, they would have to do a hydrogen study because that's the usual uh, for new lots mm -hmm. This from this day forward and since we've been at this for a little while. But I don't know whether there was a hydrogen study done originally on that original lot, and I don't know who would know that. Um, through you, Mr. Chair, I guess I'm uncertain as to what, if a hydro G was done for the original lot, but as it pertains to this application, um, it's an existing well and effectively are just redrawing the property lines. Um, would yeah, again, just clarify that if any development is proposed in the future, it would have to come back to committee, whether it's a application for severance or and or minor variance, um, and it would be subject to a review by um, by planning staff. Okay, I need, I need a motion to either approve or somebody have their hand up now, did I miss it? You, you want to speak? If you do, come to the table, please. Go ahead, press, press, press the button. There you go. Yeah. Is there any way I could have that in writing? I just really don't want to put a new well in again. <laughs> not There's nothing that I could have in writing. Not, no. not, from, not from this committee. I mean, we're, we've been, from what I gather, we've been what if in the situation here. Okay. We're, we're dealing with only a lot of addition. I like don't that. care who owns that field. I just don't want to lose my well. That's my main concern. <laughs> I can understand your concern. Yeah. Because I've already lost it once. Um, mm -hmm. You know that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember you being here before. <laughs> <laughs> Many years before, too. <laughs> Go ahead, Meryl. Mm -hmm. Could I make a suggestion to you? Um, and that would be that if someone does come forward looking for a minor variance to reduce their, lo their frontage on County Road, whatever we are, lost track, we're on 11, I guess, um, <clears throat> that... Um, that at that time, that would be when you come forward and you make certain that that's part of 
that, that no one can put anything in there unless they, you know, like drill another well, even if they want to drill a well for a doghouse. <laughs> <laughs> well, they went, they blasted last time. Okay. And my water was gone within an hour. Yeah. Yeah. For the house that's there now. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's the time to address okay. it, I would think. Am I correct? To this committee? Pardon? I address it to this committee. You at that time when yes, it's being but addressed. to this committee then. Yes. yes okay. That would be okay. likely they would have to come before our committee. I would understand that. Yeah. If we were dealing with a severance, would you put conditions? What we're dealing with the That's right. Unfortunately, that's the way the I can just note too that like the correspondence received um, through this process is on file with the municipality. Um, so there is like the history of uh, your concerns and would just flag that that information would be made available to staff if in the future a, a new application comes forward. So, so in other words, staff would know that you've written this letter, they would have it available and okay. They would take that into consideration. We hope. <laughs> there you go. Okay. I, I know that's not what you want to hear. But yeah. Well, I don't care if they have that lot. I just want some safeguards, so I'm kind of protected with my water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just, uh, as I say, if it ever comes about that they try to create, like this is a lot addition. I think I explained to you that means it becomes one big parcel. So yeah. if they want to yeah. work on that other piece, they have to come back here for, if they want to sever that. Okay. And, and and as well with reduced frontage needs of minor variance. But if they come back and want to sever that for a, for a building lot at some point in time, you know, we're aware that there's, wa there's water issues there. There definitely would be a hydrogeological study imposed uh, if, if that severance was actually approved. Uh, I don't think there was one done last time. Uh, on the other one, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Don't think there's anything done. You know, and 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 that's on a, and of course water. We we deal with these water issues all the time, and it's always been a problem. Uh, you know, we approve a severance, um, even with the hydrogy, uh, something still goes wrong. We've still had that where the, you know, they they put the well in, and then two neighbors' well go dry anyways. <laughs> the problem, biggest problem, is that you have no recourse for that. At least not through not through, not through the committee or not through the township. It's a uh, completely different political process, I guess. I don't know. Okay, we need a motion. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second with Any further discussion? All those in favor? We're going to go to the variance. Yes, so minor variance application AL1 2024. This relates to the proposed lot addition application B33 2023. Um, so this minor variance um, seeks to reduce the minimum lot area of the retained lands, that's 11 Prince Street, to approximately 0 0.133 hectares in order to facilitate the proposed lot addition. Um, so as described, um, yeah, the purpose of this is to facilitate the proposed reduced lot area. Um, the subject lands are designated hamlet, which permits the existing residential use and accessory use. Uh, the lots are existing uh, non-conforming slash non-complying with respect to minimum lot area as they're existing undersized lots. Um, on balance, the proposed reduction in minimum lot area for 11 Prince Street will not result in any adverse impacts as it's to facilitate a lot line adjustment and no new lot or new development is proposed as part of the application. Uh, the proposed development will overall be an improvement to the existing conditions as it will provide more regular lot fabric and will result um, in the uh, with increasing the size of the um, benefiting lot, which is smaller in area than the retained, so is all in all balancing it out. Um, and again, this minor variance is proposed in order to facilitate the improvement of this existing um, garage. 
Uh, again, this, it, this uh, proposed minor variance is minor. Again, we'll reiterate minor is not based on the degree of variation requested, but on the impact of granting the request. Um, so this includes how the application could impact existing or planned functionality of the subject lands. No negative visual impacts are anticipated as a result of this proposed reduction in lot area as no um, new development is proposed and there remains adequate area on 11 Prince Street to safely accommodate that existing dwelling. Um, overall, the proposed minor variance is desirable as it will facilitate uh, the improvement of that existing detached accessory structure or garage um, and will create a more lit regular parcel fabric. Um, so based on this, and again, given that no new lot is being created, the proposed reduction is um, <coughs> is uh, a minor, and we would recommend that it be approved by the committee as it maintains uh, the intent and purpose of the official plan and the township zoning bylaw. That, <clears throat> that uh, minor variance will, will tidy that up for sure. Any questions, concerns? Need a motion to approve. Bob and Aaron, all those in favor? Carried. Any deputations or pertaining to applications? I guess not. So I guess I'll need a motion to go into committee of the whole. Moved by Bob. Second by Dieter. Sorry, was that a uh, motion to go into closed, N not committee of the whole? Closed session? Right, sorry. Oh, well, no, we, we, we can rise rise out of the out of our, our closed session and and come back into. Uh, so procedure would be to uh, have a motion to go into closed session. Um, and then once the committee is done out of closed session, there would be a rise and report and then adjournment from your regular mm -hmm. committee of adjustment meeting. Mm -hmm. So a motion to go into closed session would be needed at this point. That's what I got. I've got I'm closed, moved by, by Bob and seconded by Dieter. So we're going to closed session. At this point in time, I would ask the audience, they, they have to vacate. Sorry, <laughs> and, we, and we need and we need to be turned off. I think we can stay. I think we can stay.